ever find yourself in the middle and think, man, I really want to eat some Korean barbecue right now, but I just don't know where to go. Well, today I'm going to show you guys one of the best premium Korean barbecue places here in the heart of Manila in Ermita. Welcome back again guys, it's me again here, Karis Karandang, giving you the most raw, natural, unprofessional opinions on things to find here in the Philippines. And yes, if you're wondering, I am using my phone as a microphone because that's how raw we are here. <laughs> Today I'm gonna show you guys a Korean barbecue place just here in the heart of Manila with Makchang. And they've actually been open since 2003. They've recently had a renovation, I think about 2014. And if you've never been there, give it a try. If you've been there before, but not recently, you can still give it a try and see how good their place looks now. It's very modern, very clean, very professional. So right from the get-go, they give you the side dishes that they have, which is the steamed egg. They have, of course, kimchi. There's two kinds. There is one that is made of radish and of course the more common one, the cabbage. They also gave us a soup. It's a soybean based and it's actually pretty good. I liked it. My friend Van, he didn't really like it. I guess it's really up to your own taste. So what we ordered there are four dishes. The LA Galbi, which is different from the normal beef galbi as the waiter said that there is less less bones we ordered as well the sangyup sal which is the beef belly and we also ordered the wu sangyup which is beef belly and it's actually pretty good as well you're gonna see it later and of course we couldn't go here without ordering their main dish the makchang which is beef stomach as the waiter told us and it was actually surprisingly good all four of those dishes total at about 1900 pesos which is just about 40 dollars and that is about 20 dollars each person and for the quality of the korean barbecue in this place i say it is very very well worth it so starting with the grill itself since korean barbecue is very famous for uh, showing you that the food is cooked in front of you as opposed to other Korean barbecue places where they just use a gas stove with the fire burning under they actually use here some charcoals which gives off a very good smoky flavor added to the barbecues that we got and the charcoals that we got here are actually pretty cool they just look like tubes and it was pretty interesting never seen any kind of charcoal like that before after the preparation for the grill was set we got the food and they actually put all the food right away on the table but they cook the food separately so first we had the la galbi as the first dish and it cooked pretty quick and it had a lot of flavor on it already as it is a marinated meat and the only dip we had to use for it, according to the waiter, was the soybean paste. It was pretty good. My friend Van, he ate it with the rice. I just ate it with the lettuce and it was all good. Each bite was very satisfying. There was enough crust and juiciness in every bite of the LA Galbi, which was very good. And the next dish we had was actually already the Sangyup Sal with the Makchang. So they cooked the two at the same time because I guess there was just enough space in the uh, grill. You can cook it on your own if you want to, but since we were pretty much amateurs at Korean barbecue places, the waiter was very nice and helped us cook the food. He was very professional and we were lucky enough that during the time that we went, there weren't much people around, so he got to focus his time on us and watch the food get cooked properly. He separated the sanggyup salad and the makchang by putting one of the lettuce leaves which gave us an easier time to eat each meat. What he told us is that the dip for the makchang is actually bean sprout and then for the sanggyup it's just oil and salt. Again, you can just eat it with rice, eat it with the lettuce wrap. I also put some garlic in mine and it tastes good. Just to comment on the makchang since it is the specialty of this restaurant 
I don't know if any of you guys have eaten stomach before or anything like that. One thing that we thought would be similar here in the Philippines is actually isaw, which is chicken and also pork intestine. And I have to say it's very different. The texture is honestly very, very different. The makchang is very chewy. It had a bit of an elastic feel to it, as you would imagine something as thick as the uh, stomach lining would be but at the same time it didn't feel like gum it didn't feel like chewing on a gum because it eventually does melt in your mouth and it is very tasty i have to say i want to try it again i want to eat more makchang maybe every day the next and the final meat that we actually had cooked here was the wu sangyuk i actually forgot that it was beef belly it looks so much like normal bacon that i was like yeah, it's bacon but my friend here said that it was beef belly we actually bet on the last piece whoever won would get the last piece and true enough we asked the waiter and he told us that it was beef belly and i had to admit defeat so last thing to just say for the restaurant here is the place is clean the service is great the people are kind and the most important actually in my opinion here is that there are actual Korean people eating in this place. I believe that if you go to a Korean place where Korean people eat at, a Japanese place where Japanese people eat at, an American restaurant where American people eat at, that would say something that the place is actually good for the natives of the country and that's a good sign of quality. So I hope all of you guys would try and go to Makchang one day, if not today, that you watch. If you, your, if you ever find yourself in Manila, it's just along Adriatico Street. Actually, just beside, or you can say in front of the, the Robinson's Place Ermita, or slash Robinson's Place Manila. And if you ever have any other good food that you can recommend, please tell me. I'd like to go there. I'd like to try all these different foods and places and things to do. Because my channel is really just more of doing anything for the first time and just in case if you don't know it was the first time that i had makchang in my whole entire life believe that and see you guys on the next video please like share comment and subscribe hit that notification bell just right under here uh, somewhere i can't really point at it i'm not sure but it is somewhere there and i also like to shout out my friend porky pig aka anton coma he also has his own channel here on youtube doing some vlogs a little bit different from what i do yeah he's one of my closest friends since high school since grade school i think check him out check out his vlogs check out his videos he has a totally different perspective from me and I, if you enjoy what I do, I hope you enjoy what he does as well. See you guys in the next video. Bye bye.